JJ, J, J, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back. I didn't did it again. Dick. All right. So let's get to it. So today we're going to talk about layouts and why would you care about a layout and views and content, right? Why would you care about this? Well, I'm going to show you this an example. Um, bootstrap themes, right? Let's say an example super simple just so you guys could get an idea let's pick out this theme right live preview let's get it all right now imagine this when you're creating a page you know there's a header right and the header usually is not going to change throughout the the pages right so like let's say when you go to the about page technically the header is going to be the same thing the sample post is going to be the same thing contact is going to be the same thing the only thing that changes is this section which is your your content area right so what you have like uh, your CSS or your JavaScript usually if it's just a simple page it's gonna stay the same throughout every page except the middle part right so that's where layouts and contents come in all right so we're gonna go into this we're gonna go into the source folder, right? I'm gonna click in there. We're gonna go to routes, and we're going to create a new route. We're gonna say let's call this get, and then we're the route is going to be uh, layout test, right? And then we're going to do, and then inside of it, we're going to put in the render method right render source views pages and then we're going to say uh, testing page testing page right we're gonna name it testing page dot ECR remember that okay then we're gonna put a comma and we're going to say source views slash layouts slash testing layout okay now cool people told me to actually zoom in make the the letters bigger so there you go guys for the ones that you can't see there you go <laughs> okay so we're gonna create this views now Right, we're gonna create one side the layouts, right? Which is gonna be just what was it? We named it testing layout dot ecr, and then inside of it, we're going to do the full regular HTML, right? So we're gonna say make this thing into a regular HTML. Okay, so cool. Now that we have basically the layout of the page, which is just regular, you know, HTML, the stuff that you write every single time, and you know that it won't change throughout the page. We basically put it here. Now, inside of it, in the body, that's where the content goes. So, like, let's say we want to put in the content. We're going to say this content. And then, of course, I believe it's like that. I gotta look at my own documentation. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. So this content, right? And then from there, basically we're gonna create the view. So this is the layout, guys. Remember this. Remember what I what I just told you. This whole page is full of HTML, right? It's a whole HTML page. Now, the only thing that changes throughout every single page is the content area which is this the header stays the same the meta tag stay the same basically all the information on the head usually stays the same right so all this stuff here always stays the same most of the time except the the title which I'll show you later on right but usually the footer tool stays the same right so let's go back into it Cool. So imagine this. There's a 
a header. Right, and then here, footer. Here's a footer. Right. Okay. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing here. The reason why layouts are important is to keep your code dry, not to repeat yourself. Because let's say you wanted to do a change, you will have to do a change on every single page. And I'm gonna show you right now the easiest way of this, right? So we did the layout, right? Now we're going to create the page. So I forgot what we named it on the routes. We named the testing page, the ECR, right? So we say, okay, testing page that ECR, right? And here, what we're going to do, we're going to put it in a div. Usually, you know, somebody might call it content. You could put in whatever you want here. I'm just naming it like that just because I want to be fancy, you know? <laughs> but, goddamn tight. Okay, so. Cool. Now, technically, once we run yarn run server, run server, right? It should be working. Okay, cool. So let's go to localhost port 3000. Anyways, localhost port 3000, and let's do as a layout test. Boom, there's an error. What's the error? Unsupported template engine for extension testing layout. Once again, the same issue that I had before, even I make mistakes. I forgot to put in the dot ECR, right? So we gotta put the extension to it. So we gotta say dot ECR, right? Now, we come back, run server again. You know, I did that on purpose, by the way sure <laughs> all right so you see now dynamically basically the server put it up all together and say okay here's your your header here's your con your footer and here's your content in, in between if you guys understand what's going on <laughs> listen once again i'm repeating it again you're gonna have four pages here right now if you wanted to just do a change for whatever reason on the menu or the footer whatever it was you will have to go into every single page to do that change now because you have dynamic views all you have to do is do it on the layout you don't do it on all the pages because all the pages are being served dynamically so you have one layout you do your changes there and then now it shows up on every other page you will see a better example as we go in the tutorials, okay? Now, let's say, for example, you have a section on the page that's inside the layout that needs to change with every single page that the user goes to. For example, like let's say we're on the about page. It's supposed to say clean blog slash about, right? And then when you go to the contact, it's supposed to say clean blog dash contact. How can we do this dynamically? Because we remember we say, okay, only the content area changes. But what if you wanted to just change, you know, little sections inside the layout? Well, I'm going to teach you right now. Remember, guys, the documentation is right there. You can always go back to it and check it out. I'm going to put in the link below so you can guys take a look at it. All right. So here. Okay, so you have the content for and yield content. So what this is saying, we're going to have a content for title, right? So we're going to copy this, right? We're going to say inside the view, which is this one, testing page, we're going to say content for title, and we're going to say, uh, testing page right now we're going to put in a CSS a style we're going to say because this thing is supposed to show up in the header 
you could put this anywhere and I'm gonna show you how okay style I'm gonna say background oops sorry body background red all right now for the footer we're gonna copy the same thing we're gonna say Oh, we're going to change this to testing page footer, right? And then I think we're fine for now. Content area for testing page. Now we're going to copy this page and we're going to duplicate it. We're going to say this is the contact page. Contact page that we see all right. Now we're gonna say it's the contact page. Okay, we're testing for content for contact page. Testing page for testing page for sorry contact page footer. Okay, it's very important. We're going to take this here and we're gonna name it accordingly. We're gonna put this in the head and this on the footer. So we gotta name it accordingly to how we want it to, you know, show up, all right? Now we're going to do something called yield content, right? Which it means, hey, show this content here. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna put it into the testing layout. And we're gonna say, okay, delete this. We're going to paste that there and we're going to say, okay, right here, the yield content is going to show up for the head, right? And here, the yield content is going to show up for the footer. So what this is saying is, okay, when it gets to this page, come here, whatever it says on, sorry, this one too, we got to change it, head, footer. When it gets here, it's going to say, okay, take this content. You're going to come here, get the one that says head and place it where the year content says head, right? Now the same thing for the footer is going to place it where it says year content for footer. Now, if nothing is inside of a content for, then that means this is content, right? So we could actually put this anywhere, like, I don't know, wherever the hell you want. You could take this, paste it here. You could paste it at the top. You could paste it anywhere. Right, so I keep it like this organized so I know that okay, this is the head, this is the content in the middle, and the foot is below it, right? Which is almost the same thing as the layout, you see. So whatever is inside of this page that is not inside of a content for is considered content. Alright. So this is what it is, guys. Alright. So let's go back in here and make sure everything is good. Everything is good here. Okay, cool. Now let's run the server. Sure that if you have this contact page, delete it, guys. Just in case you have it, just delete it for whatever reason. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that the testing page is blue and the contact page is red. Also, we're gonna make sure that on the contact route, we're gonna make sure that this says contact page. Okay. So what we're going to do is run the server again. Okay, cool. So contact page is red. And layout test should be blue. You see? So technically it's the same page. Everything is, is the same. But the only thing that are changing are now the head and the footer. See, testing page and also the content area. Cool. Now, what this does, it just saves you the time of like, you know, doing a whole bunch of changes on every single page. Imagine this. Let's think about Google, right? So Google has like freaking, I don't know, like 20 different services. Right, they have Gmail, they have uh, YouTube, they have a whole bunch of them, right? But most of the time, if you go to Gmail, 
most of the time they usually have the same you know the same headers or like let's say IGN.com doesn't matter what page you're on it usually have a, a very similar header so what what do they do they actually just use dynamic views and dynamic layouts so that's why you know if they wanted to change something on every single page all they have to do is just do a change on the layout not on every individual page now of course if they want to show something completely different like this area is different than you know in other places like if you go to ps4 there's an area that might be you see like this area is more different than the you know than the nintendo wii area or, or whatever right so of course you're gonna see this more and more as we keep on coding and you're gonna understand this more but at least now you can play around with it and you can play around with the layout views and understand how a framework works you know okay so let's see what else can I teach you guys okay we could do actually includes so some people might say hey we already have everything here why would I want to use include why would I want to include anything right so like let's say I have Google Analytics, right? And I want to say okay, here's my new new page, right? So let's put it into the includes. We say okay, here's the navigation, right? And I want to include this on the layout. But I want to have this separate from the layout page. But I still want it to be there, or I want to include it wherever the hell I want, right? So, what I want to do is basically, we're gonna come here and you're gonna say render, you're gonna render it right on the page, and you're gonna come, and you're gonna say, Okay, cool, let's go to the testing layout, and we're going to render the navigation here. I'm gonna say, Okay, cool, source views includes navigation.ecr. So what that's going to do is going to include it on the page. And a lot of people is going to be like, why would you want to do this? Well, sometimes you might have multiple different, you know, layouts. Like, let's say you might have the regular layout, which is where people come in. And then you're going to have a layout where it shows things when they're logged in. Or you're going to have another layout for the administrator right the person behind the scenes controlling the pose and you know blocking people whatever right but they all have the same menu right so what do you want to do do you, are you going to go into every single layout that you created and start changing that no what you're going to do is you're going to split it up and you're going to say okay cool i'm going to create a navigation include right and then inside of it i'm going to put in the menu and now i can include that menu anywhere on the page right so here's the testing layout we render it right here boom and then now if we stop the server run the server again let it generate the pages dynamically now we should see a navigation see navigation right there of course it doesn't look like a navigation but think of it as a navigation <laughs> right now if we go to contact it should be there too see navigation is there all right guys so you got a, a little quick view of you know the dynamic views you know part two and of course you know make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video um, I try to make this tutorials as simple as possible uh, dummy proof <laughs> not calling you guys dummies but um, I just I like my shit easy you know what I mean so any questions make sure you leave a comment let me know what you think follow this tutorials guys man and also we're gonna do another tutorial right after this